Hey, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. <laughs> Duet is an arcade puzzle game by the Australian game studio Comobius. The game was composed by Melbourne electronic musician Tim Scheel, aka Faux Pas. The music in the game is a perfect match of action and soundtrack. The producers of the game recommend you play with headphones on, but it can be played without. It's just not as cool. Duet can be picked up for $2.99 in the iTunes store, and the game's soundtrack can be found at Bandcamp.com. If you're out there in the job market hunting for a new jobby job because they're taking our jobs, oh man, they took your job, then I suggest you take a note from Robbie Leonardi's side-scrolling resume. Leonardi's Mario-like side-scrolling job resume is so good that I've played it twice already, and he will most likely be taking your job. I took a turn. The resume showcases Leonardi's skill sets, work experience, and hobbies, but at the same time demonstrates what he can do with design, code, and just plain old creativity. Check out Leonardi's online resume at rleonardi.com slash interactive dash resume. DARPA, an organization that I'm actually fearful of, wants to improve the health of soldiers and war veterans with a brain implant that will track neuron activity and provide quantifiable brain data. The $70 million project called the Systems-Based Neurotechnology of Emerging Therapies, subnets in parentheses, is hoping to develop effective therapies for troops and veterans affected by the horrors of war. One in nine discharges from the U.S. Army are due to mental illness. Subnets is inspired by deep brain stimulation, or DBS, a surgical treatment that involves implanting a brain pacemaker in the patient's skull. DARPA's device will be similar, but will only target one specific symptom, and will be able to monitor and analyze data in real time and issue a specific intervention according to brain activity. For a few weeks now, CNET has been speculating on what this mysterious barge contains that's currently floating in the San Francisco Bay. After some careful journalistic work, it has been determined that the barge is a top-secret Google project. People around the area are saying that it's a Google thing, and others even spotted Google employees getting lunch at a nearby restaurant using Google credit cards. Way to be secretive, Google, but what could it be? People have said it's a floating data center, others believe it's a Google Glass store, which I find ridiculous, but what do you guys think? Please leave a comment with your best guess for what the Google barge could be. I'm curious to hear your ideas. So apparently selfies at funerals are a thing now on the internet amongst the youngsters, and it's a disturbing trend. Here are some selfies at funerals for I don't know why, maybe it's just a good reason to play music and show pictures for a few seconds. In other news, people hate the new gold iPhone 5S. They also hate the yellow iPhone 5C. Maybe it's because the paint wears off so easily like my iPhone 5, which has had a case on it since I left the store and the paint has somehow still managed to wear off. Get it together, Apple. Hey guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. And make sure you check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week, Crave is giving away the Panasonic Link to Cell KX-TG7872S home handset. This is a cordless home phone answering system that links two cell phones to one base unit. Go to the blog and enter to win. Thank you.